Don't forget to press the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all our videos. Okay, so welcome back and let's look what we are going to do in this video. So in this video, the first thing we will do is add user details when we sign up. We already have the sign up function. Second thing is get the user details when we log in. Third thing is add a post, get the post. And the fifth thing would be simple UI for login and sign up. So let's get started. So first of all, as we see in the sign up, we have just email and password, right? But that's not everything because what uh, do we need at sign up is something like this, right? The first name, last name, email and password. Password, I don't really care to put it into the database because it is already been taken care of in, in the authentication. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So for password, authentication is going to take care of it, but we need a user object in our database. So in that user object, we will have not just email, but also we will need first name and last name because based on that we are going to get the uh, the details about the user right so let's quickly do that so when i'm about to log in sign up i will need first name as well and last name so in this case what i need to do first is I will when once I get the user so this user will be something like this let me show you that it's gonna look something like this so right now it's in sign in but when you sign up it's gonna look the same so as we have user dot user and UID we will use this UID as the key so the key is this, right? So this, uh, the UI, user UID and this should match. So based on that, we will identify which user is who and we can get his details, his or her details. So let's do that. And this is sign up. And in this one, when we are inside, once we are done, we, are, we got a positive response that the uh, email was authenticated and the new user was signed up i will use user ref user ref dot push and first of all i'll even use like i'll have another ref which is going to be the key so user, I'll name it as data and data dot user dot UID. And what I'm going to push in this one is first name, last name and email. So before this, I'm going to check if no email uh, for email and password is going to automatically throw an error here, but I'll check just for first name and last name first name or no last name Return false. I'll do this. Let's see what would happen here so when I try to sign up Let's do that from app.js this is sign in. Let me create another function for sign up. This is sign in. And this is going to be sign up. So it's going to look almost similar to this one. But sign up. And here we will have to pass in, let's say, double. And the last name would be something different. So sign up. Okay, we have that so let's see what do we get 
Mm -hmm. Okay. And here, let me refresh it because, yeah, okay. So if I try to sign up, it's going to give me false. But if I give a last name, last name is, let's say, I'll give the correct last name and let's see what happens. Sign up. Maybe it's not going to sign up because this demo on Discord new is already in there. So it's going to throw this error, which is going to say email address is already in use. So I'll have to use another email address, which is I'll just use double and let's see what happens. Okay, it's sign up, undefined post. Oh, we already have this one. So this should definitely not work because I'm doing it at the wrong place. Okay, so it's going to be here and let's see, should work 100%. Okay, user ref dot ref is not a function. Dot set because it's not supposed to be dot ref. Where is it? Sign up dot set. Let's try this. Set, sign up. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So that thing did go through, but it threw some error. So this uh, this user was created double jardosh at gmail, but it wasn't added into the database. See, there's double jardosh dot uh, gmail at gmail, and we have no user here. You might see. Yeah, see, there's nothing. Let's let me try to delete this. Okay, now let's try to create one. It's not gonna work because let me add another username. Okay, not username but email. Okay, so sign up. Uh, dot set dot push is not a function. Okay, let's see how are we supposed to do that. So push key. Okay. Setting custom key and pushing a new key. Let's see what do we get here. Dot child. I see. Yes, yeah, sorry, that's my bad. It's supposed to be dot child. So in sign up, I'm gonna do child and dot push. Okay, this thing. I think it should work, but let me add a new email. So sign up. Cool. So we didn't see anything here, but something did go through. See, we have this email address. So now the thing is that. The issue is we are not supposed to like push it we are supposed to just set it so we don't really need to push it it's just set so dot child dot set all right so this should work because this dot child is creating an object and this is setting the key to it so this is pretty accurate. We don't really need to do anything else in this one. So let me first of all stop this guy from working every time. We refresh it. So OK. 
Okay. Let's go here, sign up. I think we'll I did throw some error, it's already in use. And okay. Sign up. Awesome. So this is perfect. See, we have this new user added here. And the good thing is that PI2 is going to be here as well. PI2 somewhere, find for, find it. <laughs> PI2, let's look at the first thing. Double, okay, this is 5FV. ENCM. Okay, it's here. So this is working. Sign up is working great. And let's quickly go back to sign in. And when we sign in, what we need is we need to set the. When we sign in, we need the data from this particular ID, right? So we need the. What we need is this guy's users. So I'll create fire not user rep dot one uh, dot I think once should uh, okay dot child and it's gonna be user dot okay let's change this to data and data dot user dot uid dot once because there are like two methods one on and once so we will be using once and you need to have the first parameter as a value as a string the second will be a function so this function it is going to pass in a parameter snap so snap is a snapshot now we can even write snapshot and what you need to do is return snapshot dot value so value is a function so you need to have a parenthesis at the back so once you do that that's fine so it's going to return an object which will contain email first name and password so basically it's just three things so let's quickly take a look and okay this thing is okay this thing is fine all right, great. So when we log in, let's see what do we get. Okay, sign in. Are we getting something? Okay, let's have some consoles here. So log into the function. and console log data dot user shot it's not a string snapshot dot value okay i think this is a callback and hence this is not working but we can make it work so let's see sign in into the function and we got something out of this so let's see what this is okay, we have uid and then it's null sign in 11 that's null so at this point we are getting nothing and let's see what the reason is because we have we don't have any information about this guy so what are we going to do here is we are going to take this email address and pass it down into our sign in okay and password is going to be password so let's try one more time sign in email first name last name great so this is working so based on this we can display it into our 
UI. So this is working great. Let's look at the third thing. I know it took a while. So add a post and get all the post. So let's quickly create add a post. I'll go to add a post and it's gonna be something similar to this guy. So post ref, do we have it? I don't think we have it. So we will have to go into our Firebase and export constant post ref equals to Firebase app dot database ref posts okay so now we have this and in the add post we will have post ref and what we need to do here is simply post ref dot uh, push should work yes push because this is not a big application so what are we going to do is keep adding to our push object and you will have a key of who created it so created by so this will be the uid and we can even have the username and everything like first name last name so based on that you don't need to do and do a call rather than you can directly take it from the database but we will be using uid and doing the calls all the time so what do we need here is uid of the user and this is the content uid content and that's it so this pretty much should work and we will remove the things and let's go ahead and get all the posts so what we will do here is dot postref dot once and we need all of them right so snap and return snap dot value so this is going to return all the snaps that's it no matter what and later what we will do is we will paginate it or we can have like 10 first and then we can have 20 then 30 and 40 so we can do that like with this function dot limit to last and this will have like if you put in like 10 this is just going to give you 10 but we will make it more variable so you pass in the limit and limit so initially it will be 10 but it's going to keep adding to it and yeah but right now we will have all the posts so it doesn't matter how many there are so let's go ahead and check it out so first of all let's create this is a really long video i don't want to keep going and going but we have created we have added like we did like four parts add user details get user details add a post and get all the posts in the next part we'll start working with the ui and check how these things are working i don't want to like do the white box testing we can do the black box from the ui and see how it goes so I will conclude the video here and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.